Draw graphs of y is equal to the absolute value of x minus 2 and y is equal to 3 minus 2x on the same axis. Hence, solve the inequality. The absolute value of x minus 2 is greater than 3 minus 2x. So if we draw a set of axes, so let's draw this one first. Critical value is 2, so we'll put it here because that's what makes that equal to 0. Okay, and then if we, uh, for minus 2, for everyone along it goes 1 up, everyone along it goes 1 up, so the next point will be there, there, and that will continue in that direction. Uh, this one will get reflected to here. This one will get reflected to here, and so on like that. So here we get uh, the graph of y is equal to the absolute value of x minus 2. Right, 4y is equal to 3 minus 2x. Probably better to think of it as y is equal to minus 2x plus 3. And then use the idea that y is equal to mx plus c. m is minus 2, c is 3. So marking on the point uh, 0, 3. A gradient of minus 2, that's what the m stands for. For everyone along, we go 2 down. The next point would be there. Everyone along, we go 2 down. The next point would go there. Everyone along, two down, etc. Going one back will give me that point there. Drawing on our graph. Okay, the crucial point in solving the inequality is where do these two actually intersect? They intersect at this point at x is equal to 1. Now, where is this greater than 3 minus 2x. So where is the y value of this greater than the y value of 3 minus 2x? Well, all the way here, we can see that this graph here is above this one. So it's going to be any value of x greater than 1 from the graph. Okay, so this is just a graphical method for solving this question. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.